What's up guys? It's your girl Alexia. I'm the one introducing us this time on this episode of Behind the Struggle. Woohoo! This is a uh... Everyone put on your seatbelt. <laughs> Get ready. You already know. It's my episode. <laughs> nah. Um so yeah, anyway, it's Alexia and uh your boy CEO. What up, what up, what up, what's up, everybody? Um, Every time we're let like, me get we're back. gonna record, ready, three, two, one, and Chris goes, you're gonna take the lead on this, okay, and then he goes, so guys, today. <laughs> Sorry, it's just my natural alpha male tendency, not just, <laughs> I, you... I, I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna go back to NPC mode, so. Are you recording? <laughs> Yo, do you see, literally, he looks like an NPC, like, <laughs> give him a rose and he'll do something. <laughs> Wait, are you recording video? Please say yes. I am. Thank God. Okay. So <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to say really quickly because literally just happened. So today, right? I'm playing today. I'm playing Pokemon Go. And Nerd. sometimes I take my dogs with me and then like obviously anyway, it's a whole thing. Like if the dogs are walking, then I need to hatch my eggs or whatever, but um sometimes they wanna sniff, sometimes they wanna run, so it's like really hard to like, you know, carry them in the phone, whatever. So I was doing it in the yeah. car today, just cause whatever, I was not doing anything crazy, I was just in the car, so my dogs were in the car with me. But you know, I had the windows down, I had like the radio on low, and just painting the picture, right? I'm in my car, playing Pokemon Go, but when I pull Where's over- paintbrush? I'm I'm using it, like, Ooh, <laughs> hello. Metaphorically, got it, okay. Right. Um, windows are down, so like I pull over so that I can play Pokemon, cause you shouldn't play it while you're driving. Um, and I'm Play responsibly, y'all. literally like, you know, in a raid, like battling someone in a raid, some guy walks up to the passenger side, my windows are down, my dogs are barking, like they're little like Yorkie dogs, they're like yapping at him, and he, I don't know what the hell he's saying, he's like, do you have two dogs? And I was like, what? Like literally like, I'm sorry, what? Like my dogs are barking and you see me tapping on my phone, like I'm playing Pokemon. And he's like, yeah, because he knows that. And he's like, you have two dots, and I'm like, I can't hear you. Like, <laughs> like my dogs yeah. are barking. Like, and he's can't coming. Can't hear you over the bark. And he's coming closer to the car, so they're barking louder. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just protecting me. It's whatever. Um, mm -hmm. so they're barking. He's still like whatever. And then he's like, I don't know what he's saying. He's like, oh, sorry, my friend was supposed to meet me, but he's late, so I need like two dollars. And I was like, two dollars. Oh and I'm like, still, like, is that what you're saying? Are you asking me for money? Like, I'm just confused. I'm not, like, yelling at him. I'm just like, I cannot hear you. And he's yeah. like, yeah, $2. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't have any cash on me. Like, and this is true. I went I went to my car in, like, flip-flops. I'm playing Pokemon. I don't have my wallet on me. Like, I dead ass. like, even if I did, I don't think I carry cash anymore. Anyway, the point is, and then Damn. I think he goes, oh, um, I thought I was handsome, but maybe not. And I was like what like, the fuck? no i swear to god like maybe i said that maybe i was like interpreting him wrong but i was like what are you saying like I, like you really just thought you were like sexy enough to walk up to a strange girl in a, in a car or you're walking on the street and be like hey mama can i get two dollars oh i'm not cute enough for you or like oh, okay how about your number like i don't know what he was doing but i was like yo the bums where you live are different bro are they because new york has some crazy ones too let's be honest i mean they do but your, yours, I think yours have like, I don't know, they have like mental disability or whatever. Maybe <laughs> something in the water. Go ahead, though. I would, I would agree, yeah. So anyway, that's what happened today. And I was just like, are you good? Like, and then what do I do with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, roll my window up, like drive away. Like, I'm battling in a gym. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> But Any normal woman, what you said the first time, would have been a normal response. I guess I'm just going to roll my window up and go home. Not Alexis <laughs> is like, I'm battling. Get the fuck out no, of my No, because way. this isn't the first time, right? Like, I've played around this city. And, okay, when I've walked by myself. You hear that? I played around this city. I run this city. I'd be on, I battle everywhere I go. I'd be on the streets. See how you would battle? <laughs> <laughs> and um, to, yeah. I've had other people come to me like, hey, like, you're really pretty. And I'm like, okay. Like, not to be mean, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm playing Pokemon. Like, that's my prerogative. <laughs> you're over here like, what's up, This mom? is my objective. Yeah, like, like. Can I get your number? I'm like, I'm trying to get Mewtwo. So yeah, homeboy was like, can I get your number? And I was like, no. He's like, why not? You got a man? And I was like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why I got to say no Aww. twice? Like, yeah. And he was like, yeah. he's like, your man doesn't want you to have friends. And I'm, mind you, I'm still playing Pokemon. Like, I'm battling in his gym. This no, is, he doesn't. But this is a different guy, a different day, right? We're talking about two different things. Yeah. So I was like, he, I was like, uh, no, my man trusts me and I trust him. But like, I'm busy. Like, I'm showing, I'm showing him. I'm playing Pokemon. I'm like, I'm busy. He's like, oh, what's that? He's like, oh, I play Pokemon. I'm like, okay, like, you know, 
add friends, send gifts, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's like, yeah, no problem. And then he's like, do you got the PS5? Do you play on this? And I'm like, oh my And I'm gosh. literally battling, and I'm like, sir, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Like, <laughs> literally, like, can you stop? Like, <laughs> Yo, Alexis' priorities in life <laughs> is her dogs, Pokemon, then breathing. Yeah, well, it's not like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, and it's not like I was like, get away from me, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm busy. And also, it's not that I can't multitask, but I'm like, you know, you can't pause these things. You know what I'm saying? Like, the ba- uh, the baits. The raids or the battles. That's what I was trying to say. The babes. Anyway. Yep. So, it was just kind of annoying. And then he was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, let me get your number, whatever. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, and I'm busy. So, I'm like, yeah, here you go. And I was like, send me your Pokemon friend, like, you know, friend um, number later. Lo and mm. behold... Text me like, hey, this is whatever his name was. I don't remember because I blocked him since then, obviously. Uh, he's like, hey, this is whatever my name is. And I was like, cool. And then he was like, is this the game you're talking about? Sends me a screenshot. I'm like, no. Like, oh, Pokemon Go? Like, what? What do you mean? You don't yeah. know what that is. And then he sends me another screenshot. Is, is this it? Yes. He goes, oh, I'll download it now. I'm sorry, what? The only reason I gave you my number was so that you can send me your friend code that you already had it. You're not going to come at me. I'm level 44, okay? You're not going to come at me. Like, level one, like, oops, I gotta choose between Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander and be like, let's be friends. Nah, because your friendship is not gonna do shit for me. No offense. And like, like, like understand there are levels to this shit. Literally. Yes. And like, I never cheat. I never spend any money on the game. Like, I'm literally just 44 in it, like, by myself, like, whatever. My only, my only advantage is like, when I travel, <laughs> I go to like other countries and I be catching some Pokemon, like, over there that aren't available this in America. Facts. So I benefit from this. I can, uh, <laughs> you know, I can attest to that cosign. So anyway, that's that's what happened. So and then he's like, oh yeah, um, I'll download the game now, and I'm like, blocked. Like, what? Mm. I mean, I probably would have blocked him after the friendship code anyway, because I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and this happened to me on TikTok a couple times, which isn't as bad because they're like, oh, you play Pokemon? What's your friend code number? And I'm like, okay, I mean, yeah, we can play. Like, I'm not lying about that, but it's also not an invitation into my pants. Do you understand that? Like, and this is not. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not one of those things where I'm like, I'm a girl and guys always want to smash. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But that I'm also not saying that's not true. Anyway. But it's funny you bring that up, actually, because this was a situation I was in yesterday. Not, I was not in it, but I observed it. And I was like, man, I was like, I know sometimes you and me will have conversations and like, you know, you'll be like, yo, men ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. And, like, sometimes I'll, like, fight you on up. Like, come on, Alex, you can't say it. Okay, every guys, guy, but... I do say that, and Chris gets offended, but then I have to be like, I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying men in general. And then I have to be yeah. like, I didn't say all men ain't shit. Now we have to go into this thing. So it's not like yeah. an argument, but, like, just so the it's listeners not. know. Yeah, I say that all the time. I say it on my chest, but I'm not saying 100% <laughs> of men ain't shit. I'm saying, like, yeah. most of the men You literally shit. said that with your chest. I did. With your chest. You're like, I said I want my chest. <laughs> <laughs> you heard? Uh, you heard? Okay. No, nah, so, uh, but I do have to say this, like, the other day. I was like, because I was talking to uh, one of my good friends, Emmanuel. Look who it is, fans. The infamous Emmanuel that we stay talking about. And I was just like, yo, there are so many trash, like, men out here. Thank representatives you. of the male. Yeah gender yeah. that you make the rest of us look bad yes. so but uh, this is not not me trying to be like i'm waiting to go no because this I'm is the story i have to tell yeah like not at all i'm not dying with my green flag whatever so <laughs> this is something i had to experience yesterday and i was just like i know it's not my place to say anything but i have to share it just because i was like i was looking at the guy sideways all right so anyways instead of all this pretext so i went to a customer's house as you know, I, you know, doing my job as I usually do, and you know, I built relationships with my customers. Like I try to, you know, be personable with them, get to know a little bit about them, whatever, right? Okay. So one of my regular customers, I'm gonna admit names because obviously I don't want to put anyone's business out there, right? She's one of my regulars, super nice, super sweet lady, and every time I go to her house, it's usually just her. So we have like a lot of great conversations, you know, and every now and then, like her husband's there, but I've never been in the house with her and her husband at the same time. Either she's there and she's gone and her husband's there. And when I every time I went there, I always got like a funny feeling like about the husband. You know, like I've always thought like he was like a little off and like a little like weird and he just seems like very but like you mean weird like socially awkward or weird like he beats her? I think it's like along that line. So that here's the thing, like I think there's some 
abuse going on because the way like you know like you get a certain like how do we um, get vibe here I or interpret well the reason i'm bringing this up watch because you're saying like oh all men like it's an invitation or they're thinking about sex right okay like these little things right so th this I'm is talking about pokemon we, we all in i i, I know but we were talking about you, you were talking about the guy and my whole point <laughs> is that like oh like some men are just like wow like yeah and this guy they're married right so anyways so I'm there with the, you know, and I meet this guy, and I always get a vibe for him. And, like, he just seems, like, very, like, like, um, arrogant. Like, oh, I'm better than everybody else. So don't worry. Yeah, I already know. I already know. Like, you try to explain things. Yeah, don't worry. We, we already covered that. Like, I already know. Okay. So I'm just like, oh, you seem, like, annoying to, like, have a conversation with. But he's, he's black, you know, so he tries to bond with me over being, like, a minority. Oh, okay. And, and so, like, and, and to me, I'm just like, I hate when people do that. Because I'm like, just because, like, our pigments are similar doesn't mean we have, like, I identify with you just as struggles. Like, you could be a fucking pedophile, and I'm not going to be like, yeah, but we're minorities. Let's stick together, right? Anyways, so the other day, I go to the house, and, you know, my customer's there, the female, and I didn't know the husband was there. So I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? We're catching up, right? And I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm just talking to your husband on the phone. Uh -huh. And I was like, you know, I was like, oh, uh, he was telling me what the issue is. She goes, oh, yeah, he's out. He should be back soon. And right as that happens, he walks in the door. And me and his wife are talking, and I'm telling her this situation. So while I was running late, and he comes in, he's like, he's like, honey, shut up. He's like, we already covered that. Like, it's all right. He's like, Chris, let me show you what you need to do. And, like, I see, like, she got, like, so small and, like, quiet. Like, she was so talkative right before he walked in the house, talking to me. And then the second he walked in, it's like, you saw her shrink. And I was just like, there was a vibe that kind of came into the room, and I was like, I'm getting like a weird like idea of like something going on in this man, but it's not my place, you know, to say anything. So he's showing me stuff. Then he goes into the back room and he closes the door into the bedroom. And the the wife, she's quiet now the whole time, doesn't literally peep a word. And he comes out. He's like, he's like, what are you cooking for dinner? And then she's like, oh, I'm cooking this. He's like, I told you that like my doctor said I need this, blah blah blah. And it's like just talking down to her the whole time. Yeah. And and the whole time in my head, I'm just like. I never want to be in a marriage or relationship like that where like my wife feels like she has to be smaller around me. Like if anything, I should be bigging my wife up. Like she should feel comfortable around me. Like if she has something to say, she should say it. But like the way this dynamic, I was like, so like already kind of like already solidified my uh, preconceived notions of him. Like when I met him by himself, but this is my first time seeing them interacting. So I was like, what the hell? So I'm like kind of trying to stay away from him because he gives off like a very, negative vibe and so i'm taking care of the living room dining room right and i don't see like his wife anywhere i'm like where'd you go and the daughter's with me so i'm like all right i guess i'm gonna go to your parents room to take care of him that was the room i was avoiding last because he was in there so i knock on the door and i guess they were like arguing and he literally he's like what and i was just like like what thought that that was his daughter that's how he talks to his daughter yeah, he like yelled. He yelled what? And so I was like, it's the exterminator. And he's like, oh, he's like, usually the only people who knock are family. And in my head, I'm like, that's how you talk to family? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. So people that aren't family just burst in? And that, and that was the other thing. I was, I was like, I don't know. I don't live here. So I'm like, if I'm not in someone's house, I don't just walk into doors that are closed. Like, I knock. You know? So. That's a weird thing to say. Yeah. So after that happened, right? He wanted me to take care of the outside. He was like, oh, let me show you the outside. So as we're walking, you know, I'm walking behind him. I take it off my shoe covers. He's walking ahead. And he sees one of his uh, neighbors. And it's this black woman. She's, like, in a green, like, dress and whatnot. And he's like, hey, how you doing? I see, like, he's acting all bubbly. Like, the complete opposite of how he acted with his wife. Mm, that's what and they say, right? Yeah, and he's acting all like, And I'm like, watch, I'm behind him. And I'm like, I'm seeing this. I'm like 10 feet behind. I'm just like. They're literally like, he's I, so charismatic. He's so handsome. And he's so sweet. And I, I yeah. can't believe that he could have be capable of doing that to his wife. Yeah. And so I'm just observing this, right? And I'm just giving him the ill side eye. And I'm like, as I'm seeing her talk with this woman. And then she like leaves. So he's like, all right, Christina, we're going to go over here. So we walk out the back. And he's like, man, he's like, she's fucking fine. She's sexy. And he's like, you see the way she's put together and everything? He was like, perfect. He's like, she's smart. She has money. She's intelligent. You know, she takes care of herself. Meanwhile, this is a dude that has like a receding hairline, overweight, like, you know, 
He looks like a certain kind of way, but, but he's like also, arrogant because I guess he thinks he's smart. I don't mean to like shit on like right. this story or this man because this is everyone that's related to this. He sees that and that's what he wants, right? But he can't get that because he can't control that. So he's with the wife now because the wife is submissive and he's able to control yeah. her. So he wants that and he'll cheat on his wife and treat her like she and do all this to attain that. But even if, 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 if he gets it, he's going to throw it away. Yeah, he wouldn't know what to do with it. No. At all. And, and that's all I was thinking. But when I see him, and I'm just like, bro, you couldn't handle that. Like, well, you know, like that's true, though. Like, seriously. And, and and that's not me saying it like cocky, like, oh, I can handle that. Not you. But I would just, I would just like looking at it like. I mean, let's let's be real, right? I'm telling you then from experience, I wouldn't consider myself a, you know, like a like little field mouse or whatever, like a shy, timid, whatever. I'm definitely <laughs> probably not that. I'm the opposite. So any guys mm. that's like, oh, yeah, she's this, she's that. I would love that. Once they get it or if they get it, they don't know what to do. And they panic no. and they don't like that they're not at my level in their heads, not mine, in their heads or like above, they, they're below. And they freak out, they start acting out, and then they end up, they leave, they lose, like they whatever, they, they lose everything. Because they feel, they feel challenged. And as a I man, guess. they're like, I should never be challenged. But I'm like, as a man, you should actually you accept should challenges always be challenged as a to man. be better. Yeah. Exactly. Obviously, there's going to be up and ups and downs. You're going to have flow. But it's like, you shouldn't come into a woman's life and be like, it's my law and whatever. It's like, are you crazy? Like, well, because, yeah, at that point, it's literally like, well, then that's a slave, not really your wife. And now we're going back to, again, like the times where there was arranged marriages and daughters were sold to men for, like, property or pigs. And then she exactly. was your servant. But at the same time, right? And I don't mean to, mean to take this over here, but if she's okay. your servant or your housemaid... She should not also be working. You are the only one working. You're over here providing a thousand percent of the finances. And then she will take care of the home and cook the food that you want and raise the kids and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's uh, no, it's dynamic. a team effort. Like if you're both working, then you guys, if you're both working, you're both splitting the bills or whatever, then the house responsibilities are split between the two of you. It shouldn't be you're both working, but because she's a woman, her job or her role is to clean the house and cook. It's like, no. You're both contributing to the bills of the house and paying the mortgage, whatever. So you both have equal stake in doing the other things. As right. Well. So this man, as well as a majority of men, they want their cake and eat it too. So mm -hmm. they don't want to be the breadwinners anymore. They are bitches. So they want to go to work, but they want their wife to work too. So there's a dual income house because dual income homes have more money to do things. But like, no, you don't because it's actually more taxes and you actually, whatever. Um, but they want that. So that's, let, let's say, equality, even though she's probably making less or bringing home less. And then she has to go home and do all the things that you don't want to do because you're too tired or you work 60 hours and she works 40. You know, like bitch shit. That's literally yeah. what, what's happening nowadays. So, uh, yeah, so ju just to wrap up the story though, really quickly, because <laughs> uh, I, I hear what you're saying and I'm in, I'm in agreement. So I'm not trying to be like, Ugh, whatever. No, so, um, you know, he's walking out and he's like, say, he's like, oh, she's so sexy, blah, 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 well put together, blah, blah, blah. And the whole time, I'm just there. I'm just like, you shouldn't be making comments like that. Like, you're married. I mean, especially to, like, you, because he doesn't know you. He doesn't know me for anything at all, you know? But, like, that's my thing. Like, he thinks because I'm a guy and because our pigmentations are close, right, like, right. oh, I'm going to understand. Men are I'm dumb. Like, yeah, and I'm like, my whole point, and once again, it's not me waving the green flag, but like, I'm seeing this, and I'm just like, I'm not like you, bro. Like, I just saw how you treated your wife in your home. Yeah. And then you, like, flipped the switch when you walked out the door, so this other lady. I'm like, that's the same energy you should be bringing to your wife. Not this lady that you see in the hallway that you think is cute. But that's and exactly then he's the asking, problem. And he's like, oh, I never seen her with a man. Nothing, you know? But that's the problem. He doesn't respect his wife because he's able to control her. He wants, like, a wild, like, a wild tiger that he can't control. But then until he gets like, oh, I can't control this bitch. She's a bitch, blah, blah, blah. But the one that she, he did cage, he's like, this one's boring. They, they're never happy because they're never happy within themselves. And it's something that happened to them way long ago in childhood. My whole thing was like, I was seeing this energy he was having with this woman. And I was like, man, you should be like treating your wife like that. Not this woman that you have, you know, like an affection, like an, uh, an infatuation for. So, you know, but he's like talking to me, you know, thinking that like, you know, I'm going to relate. And I'm just like, bro, I'm not, I'm not like you. Like, I don't think like this. And so he's asking me questions and he's like, he's like, you know, every time I see this woman, I never seen her with a man. He's like, either she hides it really well 
or she's a lesbian. And I was just, and I was just like, or maybe it's none of your business. Or That's what I said to him. she chooses to be single because men ain't shit. That that's another thing, and I was just like, I was like, or but I was like, maybe she just has higher standards for herself that you don't meet, like you, anyone in the, the city, <laughs> you know. And I'm just like, and that is okay. I mean, yeah, not that it's okay, but at the same time, but like, I, I was like, why are you wondering this when you're married with a child? I mean, about your neighbor again, you know? obviously because he doesn't respect his wife. That's the bottom line, which is really sad. Unfortunate, yeah, and she because she's a but, really nice woman. But he wouldn't leave her because that would mean that he wouldn't have someone that he controls fully. So exactly. it's just like this. And he's somebody that gets off on that. Yeah, that sucks, yeah. and that is a lot of that's a lot of your mentalities. Yeah, and my whole point to bringing that story, I guess, full, bring a full circle with your whole thing with the guy coming. I was like, this guy too is like he was thinking, oh, if I'm nice to her and blah blah blah, like. That's an invitation for me eventually getting into her pants. Because when I saw him acting like that, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I feel like I'm peering behind the curtain. Yeah. Like, and seeing who you really are. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's yeah. not what I want to say. I don't want to be like, every guy that talks to me just wants to smash. Like, that's not what I'm trying to say. But, like, I'm playing Pokemon Go. I'm distracted. I'm busy. You're over here talking to my ear. I'm, like, trying to be polite. But I'm also like, can you shut the fuck up? Like, <laughs> but anyway, um, changing tracks. And I'm, because... sure, and I'm sure that's how that woman felt. Just walking down the hallway. Trying to go on about her day, and this guy is chatting her up, asking all these questions. It's like, bro, leave her alone. Like, you have no business talking to this woman. You're oh, married. Oh, you're a customer. Keep it moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, well. But, yeah. Changing trust, because that just went, like, all the way over there. <laughs>